longer a heartbeat on with a muffled sound. Now, this, however, did not vex me. It would not be heard through the wall. At length, it ceased. The old man was dead. I removed the bed and examined the corpse. <laughs> yes, he was stone dead. I placed my hand upon the heart and held it there for many minutes. There was no pulsation. He was stone, stone dead. His eye would trouble me no more. Now, if you still think me mad, <clears throat> you will think so no longer. When I described the wise precautions that I took for the concealment of the body, the night waned, so I had to hurry up in silence first. I dismembered the corpse. I cut off the head and the arms and the legs. I then took up three planks from the floor of his chamber and deposited all between the boards. I then replaced the boards so cleverly, so cunningly, that no human eye not even his could have detected anything wrong. There was nothing to wash out, no stain, no spot of blood, whatever. I'd been too wary for that. A tub had caught all. <laughs> well, it was now four o'clock. Still dark as midnight, and the bell sounded the hour. There came a knocking at the street door. I went down to answer it with a light heart. But what did I to fear? There entered three men who introduced themselves with perfect suavity as officers of the police. A shriek had been heard by a neighbor during the night. Foul play had been suspected, and they, the police, were ordered to search the premises. I smiled. I had nothing to fear, but the yell was my own and a nightmare. The old man, I explained, was away in the country. I took them all over the house and made them search, search well, and led them at length to his chamber. I showed them this treasure secure, undisturbed. In my enthusiasm, I brought chairs into the room and bade them to rest here. My own chair, I placed it right here, upon the spot under which reposed the corpse of the old man. The officers were satisfied. My manner had convinced them. I was at ease. They sat. And while I answered cheerily, they chatted of familiar things. Getting pale, wished them gone. My head 